let's see what they have. Small plate, breakfast, soup, salad sandwich, and noodle and pasta, and stuff like that. And a bunch of drinks. Just I want to show you guys the rooftop and the view. So this is day number three guys. So There is, this is route day number three, so I'm just heading out. So I have one more day in this hotel, which is today. And I'm not sure if I'm going to extend it or not. So, so I don't have a bed. I have just a mattress on the floor. That's one of the most unusual things that I saw. But it's okay, guys. Like, let's see what's going to happen. It is a big restaurant here, but pretty much nobody here. And this is the view. So let's go. Let's see where we're gonna end up today. Probably I'm gonna stay in Manila for a few more days, and that's it. Um, I'm done here. I'm heading to, uh, to to the islands. Uh, be honest with you, I come here to go to the islands, not to the not to the. Oh, I'm gonna go downstairs, and there is two elevators because I'm saying, guys, like there's a lot of people here working, but it just like everything is a nightmare. It's just not clean, and anyways, and the elevator is not working properly. <laughs> Show you guys this saw this this is the main lobby okay let's go and explore let's see okay all right guys i'm gonna just walk a little bit this way i want to explore a little bit this side and then i'm gonna sit somewhere have a coffee and have a plan where i'm gonna go next but I couldn't speak. This is not the really right hotel, I'll be honest with you. It just matches on the floor. I don't get that concept, man. And uh, I'm next to Hoppy in, uh, in Makati, but unfortunately this one is fully booked and I don't want to spend too much time in Manila. So I'm planning to leave next three days. Uh, maximum I'm gonna stay just a few more days and that's it and I'm going to Bakari next and then I'm gonna figure it out where I'm gonna go next guys I didn't plan anything today so I'm just exploring I'm gonna spend all day out Hopefully I can have enough battery to show you guys different part of uh, Manila. But from my hotel I saw this bridge. So I thought maybe it would be interesting. And there is a nice condominium just under the bridge. Just I wanna know what is this bridge. There's a church right there. Nice condominium here. that it just I was looking at from a hotel but that building right there it is a nice building and there is a lot of condominiums here Condominiums are 
you know, you can find the Airbnb too. There is another development is coming here. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying like, I'm gonna spend at least uh, probably tonight, tomorrow, like three more days. And today, uh, what my plan was, oh, look at the gym, guys. Look at that gym. It's just facing this river. That condominium is really nice condominium. I really like it. I really, really do. But look at the gym, gigantic gym and facing uh, the river. And I saw some people, I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. Some people jogging and I'm sure they have a nice swimming pool. That's imp impressive, really nice condominium. So what I was saying, yeah, I'm gonna spend a few more days and then today I'm gonna get my tickets for Braca, Bracai, and from there I'm gonna see where I'm gonna end up. Palawa, Al Nido, But one thing that you guys should know, if you've never been to Philippines, Philippines is much, much more expensive, especially the food. Oh my God, man, yesterday I was, I'm sure you guys gonna see it, I went to the Persian restaurant. So two kebabs, like it cost me for two, roughly $45 Canadian. To me, it's very expensive. And the food wasn't that great. So I don't know what is the local food today, maybe I'll search. But for the past two days, I see all these fast food restaurants like McDonald's and all kind of, you know, KFC and stuff like that. For the lunch time, they are very busy. I really like this condominium. I, this is a lovely, gigantic, It's a gigantic, it, it is a gigantic development. So there is a lot of condominiums. This is a nice area. I'm sure you know that Makati is the best possible area here. Another thing guys, extension, tourist extension here, cost over $200 Canadian. I won't do that, I won't do that. I was thinking maybe, you know, I'll extend it, but no, it's just a nightmare. And it is very expensive. Safety guys, I haven't been outside, uh, you know, after 10 p.m. I'm sure shit happens after that, uh, but Makati is very safe. And the other thing is guys, just one thing that is shocking here, everywhere is security and they have a gun. So the security has a gun. So. And even if you go to a Starbucks, if you go to the anywhere, there's a security. Exactly the same way that I saw in Cambodia. So, but so far I haven't seen anything that bothers me. Uh, so, but as I said, every single person says that's the most safe and secure area in Manila with all these condominiums and everything. So this is a rich area. It's very well protected. I don't know, I'm kind of lost. So I'm just going back and then continue again from same spot because it seems to me here I'm in the middle of the business district now. Because Oh, I believe this is a residential, but there's a lot of office buildings here. Guys, just 
one thing that I noticed for past few days that every single individual that driving bike here they they do have a helmet so I don't see anybody power planet mall so let's go see there so every single individual so far that I saw they have a helmet so you won't see anybody without helmet driving by here which is that's really nice so let's cool down in this mall and let me show you guys this mall so yeah that's that's really that's really nice that's i noticed and seems to me that's the best things that i noticed so far seems to me there's a huge project here for south there's a lot of condominium going up here and i can see this sales office everywhere in here because when I was in other mall too, I saw a lot of uh, sales office, uh, sales office for condominiums. So this is a really good looking mall, guys. And I was sweating like no tomorrow. It is hot, so I'm just gonna chill here, show you guys here. The Zara is obviously here. Mazda. This is a nice small guys. It is a and all the brands. My favorite brand, Massimo Duties. Ah, so it is a big mall guys. That's cool. I really like this one. It looks really, really nice. And it's called Power Planet Mall. Coach here. Hey, there's a lot of restaurants downstairs. There's a few exit too. Hogo bus. Tommy. Guys, I don't know if you guys know this brand or not. Palace Fit. This is the first time that I saw. Uh, when I was living in Canada, I never had this. I never saw Paulus V. And the lady says it's the Italian brand, and she had. They have few brands here and, and in Japan and so on and so forth. Tens on discount. After discount, it was like three hundred dollars US. Before discount, it was like five hundred dollars. Just the normal pants, guys. But what is going on? This is here is not cheap, guys. So the dealership middle of the middle of the uh, what is that Lexus middle of the uh, what is that mall? So let's go this way. This is a gigantic supermarket called the Marketplace right here in manila in makati so it is really big inside the mall and you have a lot of restaurants clean nice so i suggest you if you come into manila and if you want to eat go to the mall because most of these restaurants here is much much more cleaner than some of them on the street hey, regardless if it's a franchise or not here is just much much uh better condition and better uh Better. Look at it. Here we're selling a slice of pizza. Look at that. That's nice. 
This is the first time in Southeast Asia I saw a slice of pizza. Probably I'll grab a slice of pizza here. Oh, the Greek Mediterranean restaurant. So there is a Greek food here too. That's cool. Yeah, so seriously, because for the past few days that I'm eating, you know, through you know, McDonald's and this and that on the street. The restaurant is not clean, but here it's just much, much better. So whatever that you want, you better to come to a clean mall and have a lunch or dinner there. There is another fast food restaurant. There's a lot of fast food restaurant here. Shop. So I don't know what kind of food is this. I'm sure it is like kind of Indian food, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, it is a nice and clean mall. I really like it here. And accidentally I find this like I was I was lost and I saw the sign I saw I thought I told to myself you know to chill a little bit here because it, it is really hot but I'm glad that I find here because it's really nice and clean I don't know what is downstairs probably it's parking but we're gonna figure it out soon Dunkin Donuts here. Uh, of course, McDonald's everywhere. <laughs> hey, well, guys, I was just walking around and I saw this pizza shop. They have a slice and whole pizza and whatever. I got teeny tiny, just I want to let you guys know that Philippines is not cheap. Teeny tiny slice. This slice is roughly $6 Canadian. So to me, this is very overpriced place. Yeah, Philippines is not cheap. With six dollars in Thailand, you can get the whole pizza. Just teeny tiny slice. And it's salty and it doesn't taste good. Six dollars for it. Yeah guys, the pizza was absolutely sucks. Salty as hell. Teeny tiny slice, teeny tiny slice down. for six dollars Canadian. Just be prepared. Uh, that here is not Vietnam, it is not anywhere. To be honest with you, even in Cambodia, I was paying $5 Canadian for a whole pizza, guys. Whole pizza. Philippines is extremely expensive. It's just mind blowing. I believe Philippines is the most expensive country in Southeast Asia. That's my understanding so far. guys all the buildings are really protected because this is like extremely nice location and I can't see it you know because the mall bloody whole pizza guys whole pizza it was like maybe 16 inches like extra large and cost roughly how much $30 $35 and for just a slice of pizza, six bucks. And that slice, it wasn't really full slice. 
It's just mind blowing, you guys. Philippines is very expensive. For past three days, I probably I spent only for food. Only for food around hundred dollars. So Canadian. So that's a little bit too much to me compared to anywhere else. Last night, okay, because I had to, you know, I was in proper restaurant and I missed Persian food and I had a Persian food. I, obviously it was for two. It was like above forty dollars. And you know McDonald's and KFC and those kind of franchises cheap. You can get the sandwich for like five bucks, six bucks. But overall it's not cheap guys. It is not cheap. Yeah. So if you come into Philippines just prepare yourself for much much higher prices. is something since last night each street has this kind of gate you see these guys like this is a, just a normal street like this but they have this gate you see at night they close the gate so last night when I was uh, walking in the, when when I left the bar I saw they closed the gate on the street so obviously you cannot enter the street with the car or bike, whatever. Just you need to walk. That's another thing is. So each street has a gate for themselves. So they close it. So something is up guys with the safety wise because this much, of, oh look at this pizza shop. California Pizza Kitchen. Hello, how are you? <laughs> look at how cute this is. Behind the minivan, they make you pizza here. Oh, thank you so much. I had lunch, but I saw it. It's so cute. Probably I'll come back another day. So they have a pizza here. It is nice. Thank you so much. So it's a teeny tiny behind the minivan kind of thing pizza. That's a very good concept. I like it. It's very smart. Uh, there's all kind of brand going on here. Like you can find all the brands here even more than anywhere else. Like I would say not like anywhere else but like major city in Southeast Asia they have all these brands they have a lot of restaurants but the only thing is the security part of it like everywhere is the security officer everywhere like even they have a gate in the street at night that, that part of it is a little bit mind-blowing because I, I didn't see the hello I didn't see the gate in Cambodia but here you see guys another gate you see they close this gate see guys at night yeah, yesterday i was here guys yesterday i was here this is the bar that i was here yeah mad monkey what is this? Is this a hotel or what is it? Mad Mikey. So at night, all these places, it just gets a uh, lot of bar, a lot of restaurant, a lot of this kind of stuff so this is entertainment night entertainment place guys so i know where i am now so should we walk this way or this way okay let's go now let's walk this way guys la pita what is that i don't know 
Pita Fluffo 520. Guys, food here is extremely expensive. Just mind blowing how expensive it is. What is this restaurant? Yeah, the food is very expensive, guys. Very, very expensive. Like fluffle sandwich now, I saw it's just roughly, I would say, nine dollars for a sandwich. Oh my god, this is a red light district, I believe. Entertainment red light district. So, yeah, when I was researching, guys, I knew that that here is more expensive, but. I didn't know it's that expensive. So you need to budget yourself very well if you come in here. And that's a laundry. Yeah, you 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 gotta budget yourself very well, or you need to organize yourself, you know, to know that here is not cheap, guys. The problem is, guys, I don't know how to go cross street. Holy shit. So they blocked the whole sidewalk. So you cannot jump there, even the holy macaroni, what should I do now? the bus in order for me to go to the other side I'm looking to go to the other side so obviously there is no way that you can go because they block the whole both side of the sidewalk so you have to come through this underground wall to go to the next side which is nice and safe To be honest with you, I'm just going to find the HSBC bank and then because I heard HSBC bank doesn't have any fee for the foreigners, for the international cars. So hopefully that's true. Let's see. Okay guys, there's few malls here in Makati that all of them connected to each other. So you can walk from one of them to another one. I'm a little bit exploring now, but after that, uh, probably I'm going to go to the park because I, I see there is few of them that is extremely famous here. And there is a really good review. So, good review about the parks. So these two last... Uh, mall that I'm like this is one of them and the other one it is not high-end so this is an average mall so and I can see like more average local people that shop here so it's just much 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 price wise more reasonable so it is not like one of those brand mall so yeah be honest with you like there's nothing special like a mall you know but it seems to me just everything is much more cheaper here. Yeah. 
guys, what do you think about this hat? Should I buy it? Hello, hello guys again. Still, I'm just walking around from one mall to another wall. And pretty much, guys, like any other big city, there's a lot of restaurants, shopping mall, so on and so forth. So, from tomorrow, I'm gonna have a better idea that where I wanna see for next few days. And probably by June 25th, I'm gone. I'm, I'm, I'm done with big city. Probably by June 25th, I can see everywhere in Manila. So I don't need to waste my time too much in big city. And the other thing is guys, I need to grab something to eat. I'm starving. I had that teeny tiny pizza for breakfast and kind of lunch. Now it's three o'clock. So I need to find something to eat to get some energy and continue again. This part of the city is so nice guys, like really nice, everywhere is clean. in Makati Avenue. This is the hello, most famous obviously uh, street or avenue in Makati. Oh, the macaroni. Oh, thanks. So, This guy, uh, most of these malls, guys, it's just connected to each other. If you know what you're doing, very much I'm, I'm just walking around, but I'm a little bit confused because this is my first time that I'm doing this, but the people that they know, it, it is very easy because most of them connected to each other. So it is very easy. So the question is, uh, I wanna go 
down. So I saw a lot of brands here downstairs. I want to show you guys. So this is a rich area. Obviously they can shop and spend that kind of money here. Prada, Gucci, you name it, you can find it here. So, this is a Prada here. Hello. Restaurants. I guess I need to. I gotta go to the other side. Oh, this is a church. It's a church, guys. People pray. That is very nice. Middle of the day, people just come in and pray. brands here guys, a lot of brands, so the Honest City Philippine Philippines is a fantastic place for shopping too. So I haven't made the, you know, the comparison on the price wise, it is expensive, I'm not saying it's cheap, but it's just nice, you can find everything. <coughs> Okay, the first things guys, I gotta go grab a water. I'm just exhausted. Let's go cross the street, grab a water and then we continue. Okay, 
pick up my water.